one and other states that require all parties to consent to a recording. The amendment deems uh, Federal employees to have consented to a recording just by performing their official duties. Maryland statute requires actual consent, not forced or assumed consent. To assume a person consents to having their conversation recorded just by participating in the conversation makes a mockery of the privacy laws like those in Maryland, California, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, and other states that require multiple party consent for recordings. I urge my colleagues to support this amendment and preserve uh, the right of, of the state to protect the privacy of residents. I thank the gentleman. I recognize myself in opposition. <clears throat> Although I believe the amendment is well intended, uh, since this bill does not supersede and since the basic thrust of the bill is to empower every American to hold their government accountable, and since we are, in fact, preempting the decision on behalf of ourselves, the Federal Government, when we, in our official capacity, make calls, by definition, this is not open to the individual concern. I might note that nothing in our bill would change a three- or four-party event. In the case in which, for example, two separate private individuals are in a two all parties uh, state, such as Maryland, and two of them are not Federal entities and not uh, covered by this, they would have to agree. So it does not preempt the all parties. It simply makes the, the statement in clear, we believe, language that, in fact, we, on behalf of two million employees of the Federal Government, are making the decision to allow that in advance. This provides a uniform decision uh, on behalf of the Federal workforce, one that can be trained for, understood, and explained to all employees. It eliminates the situation in which an employee might inadvertently not know one State versus the other, might assume they were not being recorded when, in fact, they are re being recorded. It also eliminates the multi-State jurisdiction, and I think this is particularly important. A conversation can, in fact, often end up between different States. We cannot expect every Federal member of the Federal workforce to know every State rule, and therefore, nor can we expect the citizens to do so. Before the amendment, uh, my amendment in the nature of a substitute, there was a separate notification. Law enforcement expressed that having to notify each time effectively a Miranda right, but the right to tell someone they could uh, record, seemed to be burdensome and unnecessary, particularly if we made this uniform. So for that reason, I am opposing the amendment, although I agree with the gentleman that it is critical that we not preempt State law, and we believe we do not. With that, I yield back. Uh, is there any? Yes. Yeah, just one question. I yield. It is my understanding that when I look at the State law, Mr. Chairman, it says that basically that Federal employee has to give actual consent. So basically what, what we are doing here, I just want to make it clear, we are saying that when that Federal employee comes to work, any Federal employee, that should they engage in any conversation, we are telling them that they give consent. We are imposing that they, they, even if they never give consent, I guess just as a part of employment, when they walk in that door and accept the paycheck, I just want to make sure we are clear, we are saying you give consent to a conversation, a telephone, any kind of telephone conversation. No, not at all. We are, what we are saying is that, in fact, when a request is, when a, when a two-party requirement is there, we are saying that the, that the Federal entity calling, entity in this case, Federal employees, but it is the entity. So it is an official call. It is a call pursuant to an investigation. It is a call that could have that impact. It is a call in which the citizen is seeing an enforcement and wants to do it. Yes, it probably also is when I have a conversation with the IRS and I ask them what happens, can I take this deduction? And they give an answer, and then later the IRS says no, and you want to show that you, in a good faith, were doing what the IRS told you, you now will be able to substantiate this. Without that, it is your statement that somebody on the phone gave you an answer, and they are not bound by it. It is one thing not to be bound by it. It is another thing to be called, said that you did something wrong when, in fact, you did it in good faith. It is a matter of uniform. And I think the important thing, again, is 39 States out of 50, you don't need to ask. 11 States, you need to ask. We are making the answer uniform so that the American people 
as have their right. And certainly, we certainly would not want to consider that if, let's say, that you are in a state that is a one state and you receive a call from Maryland that you are a criminal if you record when you are in your state. This resolves that question. No matter what state you are in and no matter whether you're, what your state rules are, you are allowed if you choose to record. It does not work the other way. Big Brother does not get an opportunity to preempt state law and record in a state that requires two-person consent. So we do not limit, and I think that is the important, we do not limit the rights of every citizen in America. We simply make a decision on behalf of the Federal workforce that unifies the expectation of what would happen if you ask the question, may I record this conversation? I don't think it is appropriate to have two million employees of the Federal Government trying to decide what their answer is, because their answer is not an individual answer. Their answer is on behalf of the agency they work for, and it should be uniform and predictable, and that is what this bill seeks. Just one other question, Chairman. Um, on page 2 of your of the amendment in nature of the substitute, uh, just reading here, section, I guess, C, uh, section C says here, um, consent of executive agency employee, participation by an employee acting in an official capacity in an in-person or telephonic interaction shall constitute consent by the employee to a recording of that interaction by any participant in that interaction. And it, again, it sounds like it is not just the end. There is still an individual who is on that phone. I mean, and I know it is the Federal Government and everything. Well, the gentleman is, is absolutely correct, right. but it is limited to acting in his official capacity. This is not calling your brother-in-law up. This is not having a casual conversation. This I is understand that. Official I understand capacity. that. And so, again, I want to make it clear, when the Federal, when the employee becomes a, an employee of the Federal Government, any conversation that he has that is in his official or she capacity, any conversation, can then be recorded without their stated consent, but when they take the job, they, you're telling them that they consent. It's actually a covered conversation and enforcement action. But let's let's understand something, and I'll just give an anecdotal one, but I think it's appropriate. If EPA says on a, on a conversation in the future or some other entity, if you won't do this, we will go after you. It will be potentially recorded. If I, uh, if I am asked a question and I answer it, and then later the individual says, well, they didn't tell me that, I will be able to produce if I have recorded it the tape. That expectation will be there. But again, it is limited to their official capacity. It was drawn narrowly. Uh, I can understand that maybe Federal law enforcement has said they don't want it, but they are speaking about 11 States they don't want it in. It, perhaps they don't want it in the other 39. But that is the law in 39 States. All we are doing is making sure there is a uniform predictability so the Federal workforce knows what their expectations are of being recorded. And with that, the question occurs on the gentleman from Maryland's amendment to the amendment in nature of a substitute. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? No. no. In the opinion of the Chair, the noes have it, the noes have it, the amendment is not agreed to. On that, yes, on that, we have a request for a recorded vote. Since a reporting quorum is here, we will go directly through that one at this time. Uh, call the roll. Mr. Issa? No. Mr. Issa votes no. Mr. Micah? No. Mr. Micah votes no. Mr. Turner? Mr. Duncan? Mr. McHenry? Mr. Jordan? Mr. Chaffetz? Mr. Wahlberg? Mr. Wahlberg votes no. Mr. Lankford? No. Mr. Lankford votes no. Mr. Amash? No. Mr. Amash votes no. Dr. Gosar? No. Dr. Gosar votes no. Mr. Meehan? May I have a clarification on what it is we are voting on? I am not sure. We are voting on the Cummings Amendment in the to the Amendment in the Nature of Substitute, which uh, has the uh, State preemption language that we have determined from the Chair were not necessary. Uh, no. Mr. Thank Meehan you. votes no. Dr. Desjardins? No. Dr. Desjardins votes no. Mr. Gowdy? Mr. Gowdy votes no. Mr. Farenthold? No. Mr. Farenthold votes no. Mr. Hastings? Mr. Hastings votes no. Mrs. Lummis? Ms. Lummis votes no. Mr. Woodall? Mr. Woodall votes no. Mr. Massey? 
Mr. Massey votes no. Mr. Collins? Mr. Collins votes no. Mr. Meadows? Mr. Bentivoglio? No. Mr. Bentivoglio votes no. Mr. DeSantis? Mr. Cummings? Mr. Cummings votes aye. Mrs. Maloney? Aye. Ms. Mrs. Maloney votes aye. Ms. Norton? Mr. Tierney? Aye. Mr. Tierney votes aye. Mr. Clay? Aye. Mr. Clay votes aye. Mr. Lynch? Aye. Mr. Lynch votes aye. Mr. Cooper? Aye. Mr. Cooper votes aye. Mr. Connolly? Aye. Mr. Connolly votes aye. Ms. Beer? Mr. Cartwright? Aye. Mr. Cartwright votes aye. Mr. Pocan? Aye. Mr. Pocan votes aye. Mrs. Duckworth? Mrs. Duckworth votes aye. Ms. Kelly? Mr. Davis? Aye. Mr. Davis votes aye. Mr. Welch? Aye. Mr. Welch votes aye. Mr. Cardenas? Aye. Mr. Cardenas votes aye. Mr. Horsford? Ms. Luan Grisham? Aye. Ms. Luan Grisham votes aye. Mr. Turner? No. Mr. Turner votes no. McHenry. Mr. McHenry? No. Mr. McHenry votes no. Does anyone else seek recognition? The clerk will report. On that vote, Mr. Chairman, 18 no's, 14 ayes. The amendment is not agreed to. The question now occurs on the amendment in the nature of substitute. Uh, those, those, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Independent chair, the ayes have it. The ayes have it. The amendment is agreed to. The question now occurs on the bill uh, as a, pardon me, hang on a second. Give me language. It doesn't help it. Thank you. I now move the Committee on Oversight and Government Reform report the bill, H.R. 2711, to the House with the recommendation that it do pass as amended. All those in uh, the question is on favorable reporting H.R. 2711 to the House's amendment. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. No. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. The ayes have it. Chairman, the bill, yeah, you can announce the vote. bill is, <laughs> is, is agreed to. Mr. Chairman, I ask uh, the requisite number of days for the filing of any additional views. Without objection, so ordered. I ask unanimous consent that staff be authorized to make necessary and conforming and technical changes to the bill, without objection, so ordered. The question now occurs on previously. No, no, no. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, could I ask unanimous consent to have my vote recorded? I ran in at just as the vote was ending. On the previous amendment. We can't, but we can have the record show that had you been there, you would have voted uh, no on the final bill and aye on the amendments. <laughs> yes, Mr. Chairman. Okay. You are prescient, Correct. so prescient. <laughs> the committee will now consider H.R. 1660, the Government Customer Servant Improvement Act of 2013. The clerk will designate the bill. H.R. 1660, a bill to require the establishment of Federal customer service standards and to improve the service provided by Federal agencies. Without objection, H.R. 1660 will consider it as read and open for amendment at any point. I have an amendment in the nature of a substitute. The clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment in the nature of a substitute to H.R. 1660 offered by Mr. Issa of California. Without objection, the amendment will be considered as read and open for amendment at any point. The text has already been distributed and is in each of your folders. I recognize myself for a short opening statement. The, Mr. Cuellar's bill, America, points out that Americans depend on Federal agencies for vital services, and delays in processing the request often result in frustration and financial hardship. Agencies need to deliver services more efficiently and at a lower cost. H.R. 1660 helps ensure that government is more responsive to the public by establishing customer service standards and performance expectations for each agency. And the legislation <coughs> couldn't come at a better time. With Department of Treasury rank last in citizen satisfaction, according to most recent report, the American customer, by the American Customer Satisfaction Index, the amendment before the committee puts today the taxpayer first, allows customers to provide feedback uh, 
uh, exper experience with Federal agencies, and hold Federal workers accountable for their interactions with the public. And again, uh, I recommend this bill uh, as a bipartisan bill and recognize the gentleman from Maryland for his opening statement. Chairman, I support this bill. I appreciate the work of uh, Representative Cuellar. Uh, he has put uh, a lot of work into this uh, bill over the last few years. Uh, this bill has passed the House on two previous occasions. The Federal Government provides services that can significantly impact the physical and financial well-being of the people it serves. It is imperative that agencies provide services effectively and efficiently. There are many hardworking Federal employees who conduct their jobs with professionalism and compassion every single day. But there are areas in need of improvement. For example, the Department of Veterans Affairs takes an average of 243 days to process a claim. That is far too long to make our veterans wait for benefits. Under this legislation, the Office of Management and Budget would establish government-wide standards for customer service delivery, including target response times for phone calls, emails, letters, benefit processing and payments. I understand, Mr. Chairman, that uh, you plan to offer a substitute amendment to the bill. Uh, I have uh, some concerns about that substitute, which I will discuss at the appropriate moment. And with that, I yield back. Uh, the gentleman, the, we actually already called up the amendment. Uh, so the amendment in nature of substitute is here. I uh, will hold the record open until the end of the day, which is coming soon, for members who would like to submit written statements. And I would note the presence of Mr. Quay, a former member of this committee and someone that I think very much deserves a bipartisan thank you from this committee. Does any member wish to speak on the bill? Does any member? Of course, the gentlelady from New York, Ms. Maloney. I, I want to note and thank the chairman and ranking member for bringing the bill up. Uh, it did pass in the last Congress, uh, and bringing it up early will mean that it will have time to get through the Senate. And to have customer standards in our agencies is certainly a, a goal, and it is thoughtful and, and uh, important. And I just wanted to weigh in in support of it, and I yield back. Thank you. Thank the gentlelady. Does anyone further wish to speak on the amendment nature of substitute? If there is no further <clears throat> discussion, the question is on the amendment in the nature of a substitute. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the Chair, the ayes have it, the ayes have it, the amendment is agreed to. I now move the Committee on Oversight and Government Reform report the bill, H.R. 1660, to the House with the recommendation it do pass as amended. The question is on favorably reporting H.R. 1660 to the House as amended. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the Chair, the ayes all have it. The motion is agreed to. H.R. 1660 is ordered reported to the House as amended. Chairman, I ask for record number of days for following. Without objection, so order. Additionally, I ask unanimous consent the staff be authorized to make necessary and conforming technical changes to the bill. Without objection, so ordered. We now move to the rolled votes. Don't anyone leave. <coughs> We bring back up the Postal Reform Bill. The question is on agreeing to the amendment offered by the gentleman from Maryland, Mr. Cummings. <clears throat> all those, <coughs> uh, oh, let's see, all those in favor of signify, signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed say no. No. In the opinion of the chair, the noes have it. The noes have it. Do you request you? The gentleman requests a recorded vote. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Issa? No. Mr. Issa votes no. Mr. Micah? No. Mr. Micah votes no. Mr. Turner? Mr. Duncan? Mr. McHenry? No. Mr. McHenry votes no. Mr. Jordan? No. Mr. Jordan votes no. Mr. Chaffetz? No. Mr. Chaffetz votes no. Mr. Wahlberg? No. Mr. Wahlberg votes no. Mr. Langford? No. Mr. Langford votes no. Mr. Amash? No. Mr. Amash votes no. Dr. Gosar? No. Dr. Gosar votes no. Mr. Meehan? No. Mr. Meehan votes no. Dr. Desjardins? Dr. Desjardins votes no. Mr. Gowdy? Mr. Gowdy votes no. Mr. Farenthold? Mr. Farenthold votes no. Mr. Hastings? Mr. Hastings votes no. Mrs. Lummis? Mrs. Lummis votes no. Mr. Woodall? Mr. Woodall votes no. Mr. Massey? Mr. Massey votes no. Mr. Collins? Mr. Collins votes no. Mr. Meadows? Mr. Meadows votes no. Mr. Bentivoglio? Mr. Bentivoglio votes no. Mr. DeSantis? Mr. DeSantis votes no. Mr. Cummings? Mr. Cummings votes aye. Mrs. Maloney? Mrs. Maloney votes aye. Ms. Norton? Aye. Ms. Norton votes aye. Mr. Tierney? Aye. Mr. Tierney votes aye. Mr. Clay? Aye. Mr. Clay votes aye. Mr. Lynch? Aye. Mr. Lynch votes aye. Mr. Cooper? Aye. Mr. Cooper votes aye. Mr. Connolly? Aye. Mr. Connolly votes aye. Mr. Ms. Spear? Aye. 
Ms. Spear votes aye. Mr. Cartwright. Aye. Mr. Cartwright votes aye. Mr. Pocan. Aye. Mr. Pocan votes aye. Mrs. Duckworth. Aye. Mrs. Duckworth votes aye. Ms. Kelly. Yes. Ms. Kelly votes aye. Mr. Davis. Aye. Mr. Davis votes aye. Mr. Welch. Aye. Mr. Welch votes aye. Mr. Cardenas. Aye. Mr. Cardenas votes aye. Mr. Horsford. Mr. Luan Grisham. Aye. Ms. Luan Grisham votes aye. Mr. Turner. No. Mr. Turner votes no. The clerk will uh, report the tally. On that vote, there are 17 ayes, 22 noes. The agreement is not agreed to. The question, the question <clears throat> is on agreeing to the amendment offered by the gentleman from Massachusetts, Mr. Tierney, uh, on which a recorded vote was ordered uh, or requested and in which the opinion of the chair of the noes had it. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Issa? No. Mr. Issa votes no. Mr. Micah? No. Mr. Micah votes no. Mr. Turner? No. Mr. Turner votes no. Mr. Duncan? No. Mr. McHenry? No. Mr. McHenry votes no. Mr. Jordan? No. Mr. Jordan votes no. Mr. Chaffetz? No. Mr. Chaffetz votes no. Mr. Wahlberg? No. Mr. Wahlberg votes no. Mr. Langford? No. Mr. Langford votes no. Mr. Amash? No. Mr. Amash votes no. Dr. Gosar? Dr. Gosar votes no. Mr. Meehan? No. Mr. Meehan votes no. Dr. Desjardins? No. Dr. Desjardins votes no. Mr. Gowdy? Mr. Gowdy votes no. Mr. Farenthold? No. Mr. Farenthold votes no. Mr. Hastings? Mr. Hastings votes no. Mrs. Lummis? Mrs. Lummis votes no. Mr. Woodall? Mr. Woodall votes no. Mr. Massey? No. Mr. Massey votes no. Mr. Collins? No. Mr. Collins votes no. Mr. Meadows? Mr. Meadows votes no. Mr. Bentivoglio? No. Mr. Bentivoglio votes no. Mr. DeSantis? No. Mr. DeSantis votes no. Mr. Cummings? No. Mr. Cummings votes aye. Mrs. Maloney? Mrs. Maloney votes aye. Mrs. Norton? Aye. Ms. Norton votes aye. Mr. Tierney? Aye. Mr. Tierney votes aye. Mr. Clay? Aye. Mr. Clay votes aye. Mr. Lynch? Aye. Mr. Lynch votes aye. Mr. Cooper? Aye. Mr. Cooper votes aye. Mr. Connolly? Aye. Mr. Connolly votes aye. Ms. Spear? Aye. Ms. Spear votes aye. Mr. Cartwright? Aye. Mr. Cartwright votes aye. Mr. Pocan? Aye. Mr. Pocan votes aye. Mrs. Duckworth? Aye. Mrs. Duckworth votes aye. Ms. Kelly? Aye. Ms. Kelly votes aye. Mr. Davis? Mr. Davis votes aye. Mr. Welch. Mr. Welch votes aye. Mr. Cardenas. Aye. Mr. Cardenas votes aye. Mr. Horsford. Mr. Luan Grisham. Aye. Mrs. Luan Grisham votes aye. 17, 22 again. Does anyone else wish to be recorded? If not, the clerk will report the tally. That vote, Mr. Chairman, 17 ayes, 22 noes. The amendment is not agreed to. The, the noes have it. The amendment is not agreed to. The question is now on agreeing to the First Amendment offered by the gentleman from Massachusetts, Mr. Lynch, on which the noes had it and a recorded vote was demanded. The clerk will call the vote. Mr. Issa? No. Mr. Issa votes no. Mr. Micah? Yeah. Mr. Micah votes no. Mr. Turner? Mr. Turner votes no. Mr. Duncan? Mr. McHenry? No. Mr. McHenry votes no. Mr. Jordan? No. Mr. Jordan votes no. Mr. Chaffetz? No. Mr. Chaffetz votes no. Mr. Wahlberg? No. Mr. Wahlberg votes no. Mrs. Mr. Lankford? No. Mr. Lankford votes no. Mr. Amash? No. Mr. Amash votes no. Dr. Gosar? No. Dr. Gosar votes no. Mr. Meehan? No. Mr. Meehan votes no. Dr. Desjardins? No. Dr. Desjardins votes no. Mr. Gowdy? No. Mr. Gowdy votes no. Mr. Farenthold? No. Mr. Farenthold votes no. Mr. Hastings? No. Mr. Hastings votes no. Mrs. Lummis? No. Mrs. Lummis votes no. Um, Mr. Woodall? No. Mr. Woodall votes no. Mr. Massey? No. Mr. Massey votes no. Mr. Collins? No. Mr. Collins votes no. Mr. Meadows? No. Mr. Meadows votes no. Mr. De Bentivoglio? No. Mr. Bentivoglio votes no. Mr. DeSantis? No. Mr. DeSantis votes no. Mr. Cummings? Mr. Cummings votes aye. Mrs. Maloney? Aye. Mrs. Maloney votes aye. Ms. Norton? Aye. Mrs. Dor Norton votes aye. Mr. Tierney? Aye. Mr. Tierney votes aye. Mr. Clay? Aye. Mr. Clay votes aye. Mr. Lynch? Aye. Mr. Lynch votes aye. Mr. Cooper? Aye. Mr. Cooper votes aye. Mr. Connolly? Mr. Connolly votes aye. Ms. Spear? Aye. Ms. Spear votes aye. Mr. Cartwright? Aye. Mr. Cartwright votes aye. Mr. Pocan? Aye. Mr. Pocan votes aye. Mrs. Duckworth? Aye. Mrs. Duckworth votes aye. Ms. Kelly? Aye. Ms. Kelly votes aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. Mr. Davis votes aye. Mr. Welch? Aye. Mr. Welch votes aye. Mr. Cardenas? Aye. 
Mr. Cardenas votes aye. Mr. Horsford, Ms. Luan Grisham? Aye. Ms. Luan Grisham votes aye. Does anyone else wish to be recorded? The clerk will report the tally. On that vote, Mr. Chairman, 17 ayes, 22 noes. The amendment is not agreed to. The question is on agreeing the Second Amendment offered by the gentleman from Massachusetts, Mr. Lynch. All those in favor, or sorry, on which the, the nays had it and a recorded vote was requested, the clerk will call the roll. Mr. Issa? No. Mr. Vice votes no. Mr. Micah? No. Mr. Micah votes no. Mr. Turner? Mr. Turner votes no. Mr. Duncan? Mr. McHenry? Mr. McHenry votes no. Mr. Jordan? Mr. Jordan votes no. Mr. Chaffetz? Mr. Chaffetz votes no. Mr. Wahlberg? Mr. Wahlberg votes no. Mr. Langford? Mr. Langford votes no. Mr. Amash? Mr. Amash votes no. Dr. Gosar? Dr. Gosar votes no. Mr. Meehan? Mr. Meehan votes no. Dr. Desjardins? Dr. Desjardins votes no. Mr. Gowdy? Mr. Gowdy votes no. Mr. Farenthold? Mr. Farenthold votes no. Mr. Hastings? Mr. Hastings votes no. Mrs. Lummis? Mr. Mrs. Lummis votes no. Mr. Woodall? Mr. Woodall votes no. Mr. Massey? Mr. Massey votes no. Mr. Collins? Mr. Collins votes no. Mr. Meadows? Mr. Meadows votes no. Mr. Bentivoglio? Mr. Bentivoglio votes no. Mr. DeSantis? Mr. DeSantis votes no. Mr. Cummings? What's up, Doc? Yes. It doesn't work. Mr. Cummings votes aye. Mrs. Maloney? Aye. You know, Mrs. Maloney you know, votes aye. Ms. Norton? Ms. Norton votes aye. Mr. Tierney? Aye. Mr. Tierney votes aye. Mr. Clay? Aye. Mr. Clay votes aye. Mr. Lynch? Aye. Mr. Lynch votes aye. Mr. Cooper? Aye. Mr. Cooper votes aye. Mr. Connolly? Aye. Mr. Connolly votes aye. Ms. Spear? Aye. Ms. Spear votes aye. Mr. Cartwright? Aye. Mr. Cartwright votes aye. Mr. Pocan? Aye. Mr. Pocan votes aye. Mrs. Duckworth? Aye. Ms. Duckworth votes aye. Ms. Kelly? Yes. Ms. Tuck, uh, Ms. Kelly votes aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. Mr. Davis votes aye. Mr. Welch? Aye. Mr. Welch votes aye. Mr. Cardenas? Aye. Mr. Cardenas votes aye. Mr. Horsford? Ms. Luan Grisham? Aye. Ms. Luan Grisham votes aye. All members having recorded, the clerk will report the tally. Let vote, Mr. Chairman, 17 ayes, 22 noes. The noes have it. The amendment is not adopted. The question is now on agreeing the third amendment offered by the gentleman from Massachusetts, Mr. Lynch, on which the noes prevailed. Uh, the clerk will, and the recorded vote was requested. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Issa? No. Mr. Issa votes no. Mr. Micah? No. Mr. Micah votes no. Mr. Turner? No. Mr. Turner votes no. Mr. No. Duncan? No. Mr. Duncan is, did not, I didn't say you yet. Mr. McHenry. <laughs> Wait your turn, guys. <laughs> Mr. Henry votes no. Mr. Jordan? Mr. Jordan votes no. Mr. Chaffetz? Mr. Chaffetz votes no. Mr. Wahlberg? Mr. Wahlberg votes no. Mr. Langford? Mr. Langford votes no. Mr. Amash? Mr. Amash votes no. Mr. Gosar? Mr. Gosar votes no. Mr. Meehan? Mr. Meehan votes no. Dr. Desjardins? Dr. Desjardins votes no. Mr. Gowdy? Mr. Gowdy votes no. Mr. Farenthold? Mr. Farenthold votes no. Mr. Hastings? Mr. Hastings votes no. Mrs. Lummis? Mrs. Lummis votes no. Mr. Woodall? Mr. Woodall votes no. Mr. Massey? Mr. Massey votes no. Mr. Collins? Mr. Collins votes no. Mr. Meadows? Mr. Meadows votes no. Mr. Bentivoglio? Mr. Bentivoglio votes no. Mr. DeSantis? Mr. DeSantis votes no. Mr. Cummings? Mr. Cummings votes aye. Mrs. Maloney? Mrs. Maloney votes aye. Ms. Norton? Ms. Norton votes aye. Mr. Tierney? Aye. Mr. Tierney votes aye. Mr. Clay? Aye. Mr. Clay votes aye. Mr. Lynch? Aye. Mr. Lynch votes aye. Mr. Cooper? Aye. Mr. Uh, Cooper votes aye. Mr. Connolly? Aye. Mr. Connolly votes aye. Ms. Spear? Aye. Ms. Spear votes aye. Mr. Cartwright? Aye. Mr. Cartwright votes aye. Mr. Pocan? Aye. Mr. Pocan votes aye. Mrs. Duckworth? Aye. Mrs. Duckworth votes aye. Ms. Kelly? Aye. Ms. Kelly votes aye. Mr. Davis? Mr. Davids votes aye. Mr. Welch? Mr. Welch votes aye. Mr. Cardenas? Mr. Cardenas votes aye. Mr. Horsford? Ms. Luan Grisham? Aye. Ms. Luan Grisham votes aye. Does anyone else wish to record a vote? The clerk, the clerk will record the, report the tally. Vote, Mr. Chairman, 17 ayes, 22 noes. The amendment is not agreed to. I now move the Committee on Oversight and Government Reform report the bill, H.R. 2748, to the House with a recommendation the bill do pass as amended. The question is on favorably reporting H.R. 2748 to the House as amended. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 
Any opposed? No. no. In the opinion of the Chair, the ayes have it. The ayes would have it. But the gentleman requests a recorded vote. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Issa? Aye. Mr. Issa votes aye. Mr. Micah? Aye. Mr. Micah votes aye. Mr. Turner? Aye. Mr. Turner votes aye. Mr. Duncan? Mr. McHenry? Aye. Mr. McHenry votes aye. Mr. Jordan? Mr. Jordan votes aye. Mr. Chaffetz? Aye. Mr. Chaffetz votes aye. Mr. Wahlberg? Mr. Wahlberg votes aye. Mr. Lankford? Mr. Langford votes aye. Mr. Amash? Yes. Mr. Amash votes aye. Dr. Gosar? Yes. Dr. Gosar votes aye. Mr. Meehan? Aye. Mr. Meehan votes aye. Dr. Desjardins? Aye. Dr. Desjardins votes aye. Mr. Gowdy? Yes. Mr. Gowdy votes aye. Mr. Farenthold? Aye. Mr. Farenthold votes aye. Mr. Hastings? Mr. Hastings votes aye. Mrs. Lummis? Mrs. Lummis votes aye. Mr. Woodall? Aye. Mr. Woodall votes aye. Mr. Massey? Mr. Massey votes aye. Mr. Collins? Mr. Collins votes aye. Mr. Meadows? Mr. Meadows votes aye. Mr. Bentivoglio? Aye. Mr. Bentivoglio votes aye. Mr. DeSantis? Aye. Mr. DeSantis votes aye. Mr. Cummings? No. Mr. Cummings votes no. Mrs. Maloney? No. Mrs. Maloney votes no. Ms. Norton? No. Ms. Norton votes no. Mr. Tierney? No. Mr. Tierney votes no. Mr. Clay? No. Mr. Clay votes no. Mr. Lynch? No. Mr. Lynch votes no. Mr. Cooper? No. Mr. Cooper votes no. Mr. Connolly? No. Mr. Connolly votes no. Ms. Spear? Ms. Beer votes no. Mr. Cartwright? No. Mr. Cartwright votes no. Mr. Pocan? No. Mr. Pocan votes no. Mrs. Duckworth? No. Mrs. Duckworth votes no. Ms. Kelly? No. Ms. Kelly votes no. Mr. Davis? No. Mr. Davis votes no. Mr. Welch? No. Mr. Welch votes no. Mr. Cardenas? No. Mr. Cardenas votes no. Mr. Horsford? Ms. Luan Grisham? No. Ms. Luan Grisham votes no. The clerk will report the tally. On that vote, Mr. Chairman, 22 ayes, 17 noes. The motion is agreed to. H.R. 2748, the Postal Reform Act of 2013, is ordered reported to the House as amended. Chairman, the gentleman. Without objection, so order. I also ask unanimous consent the staff be authorized to make necessary and conforming technical changes to the bill without objection, so ordered. The bill is reported to the House. We now return to the question on agreeing to the amendment offered by the gentleman from Massachusetts, Mr. Lynch, on H.R. 2579, in which the noes prevailed. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Issa? No. Mr. Issa votes no. Mr. Micah? No. Mr. Micah votes no. Mr. Turner? No. Mr. Turner votes no. Mr. Duncan? Mr. McHenry? No. Mr. McHenry votes no. Mr. Jordan? No. Mr. Jordan votes no. Mr. Chaffetz? No. Mr. Chaffetz votes no. Mr. Wahlberg? No. Mr. Wahlberg votes no. Mr. Langford? No. Mr. Langford votes no. Mr. Amash? No. Mr. Amash votes no. Dr. Gosar? No. Dr. Gosar votes no. Mr. Meehan? No. Mr. Meehan votes no. Dr. Desjardins? No. Dr. Desjardins votes no. Mr. Gowdy? No. Mr. Gowdy votes no. Mr. Farenthold? No. Mr. Farenthold votes no. Mr. Hastings? No. Mr. Hastings votes no. Mrs. Lummis? No. Mrs. Lummis votes no. Mr. Woodall? Mr. Woodall votes no. Mr. Massey? No. Mr. Massey votes no. Mr. Collins? No. Mr. Collins votes no. Mr. Meadows? No. Mr. Meadows votes no. Mr. Bentivoglio? No. Mr. Bentivoglio votes no. Mr. DeSantis? No. Mr. DeSantis votes no. Mr. Cummings? Yes. Mr. Cummings votes aye. Mrs. Maloney? Aye. Mrs. Maloney votes aye. Ms. Norton? Aye. Ms. Norton votes aye. Mr. Tierney? Aye. Mr. Tierney votes aye. Mr. Clay? Aye. Mr. Clay votes aye. Mr. Lynch? Mr. Lynch votes aye. Mr. Cooper? Aye. Mr. Cooper votes aye. Mr. Connolly? Aye. Mr. Connolly votes aye. Ms. Spear? Aye. Ms. Spear votes aye. Mr. Cartwright? Aye. Ms. Car Mr. Cartwright votes aye. Mr. Pocan? Aye. Mr. Pocan votes aye. Ms. Duckworth? Yes. Mrs. Duckworth votes aye. Ms. Kelly? Yes. Mrs. Kelly votes aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. Mr. Davis votes aye. Mr. Welch? Aye. Mr. Welch votes aye. Mr. Cardenas? Aye. Mr. Cardenas votes aye. Mr. Horsford? Ms. Luan Grisham? Mr. Luan, Ms. Luan Grisham votes aye. The clerk will report the tally. On that vote, Mr. Chairman, 17 ayes, 22 noes. The amendment is not adopted. Mr. Chairman? Yes, Mr. Ask, Cooper. Would it be appropriate under parliamentary procedure to stipulate the outcome of forthcoming votes in an effort to save time? There seems to be a certain predictability here, 22 to 17. <laughs> you know, uh, 
The gentleman is absolutely right, and when a recorded, when a recorded vote is ordered after the chair has made a decision, it is often, often the case that the outcome is as predicted by the chairman. But it remains to be seen. I'm, I'm, I'm always open to that alternate possibility. Well, I ask unanimous consent that the forthcoming votes be stipulated with the outcome we've already I think seen. there's a reserve coming from the ranking member. No, I, I don't have reservations as long as that is the stipulation. In other words, that whatever the votes, in other words, that the, the members be recorded as they have been voting. In other words, you follow me? Yeah, I just call it. Well, uh, on a point of order, it would probably require us to do it in block. Um, how about this? Why don't we just get along with the voting rather than debate this? Just a thought. I've been, in, I've been, inform, I've been informed that uh, they'll, they'll check into whether that can be done. In the meantime, we're, we're, we're pretty close to done, so let's just uh, at least finish this, this portion of the technical. Uh, now, the question now is on the amendment in nature of a substitute. Uh, <coughs> all those in favor signify by, voting, by saying aye, aye. Any opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it, the ayes have it, the amendment is agreed to. I now move that the Committee on Oversight and Government Reform report the bill, H.R. 2579, to the House with the recommendation that due pass is amended. The question is on favorably reporting H.R. 2579 to the House as amended. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. no. In the opinion of the Chair, the ayes have it. The ayes have it. The motion is agreed to. And H.R. 2579 is ordered, reported to the House as amended. Mr. Chairman, I ask the uh, requisite number of days for the following of additional views. The gentleman is uh, unanimous consent is agreed to, and I also ask unanimous consent that the staff be authorized to make necessary and conforming technical changes to the bill without objection, so ordered. We now go to the last roll call vote in block. Uh, the question is on agreeing to the amendment offered by the gentleman from Virginia, Mr. Connolly, uh, on which. Uh, well, I will just do it the old-fashioned way. All those in favor uh, signify by saying aye. aye. Those opposed, no. 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 In the opinion of the Chair, the noes have it. The noes have it. The amendment is not agreed to. You still want a recorded vote? The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Issa? No. Mr. Issa votes no. Mr. Mica? No. Mr. Mica votes no. Mr. Turner? Mr. Turner votes no. Mr. Duncan? Mr. McHenry? Mr. McHenry votes no. Mr. Jordan? Mr. Jordan votes no. Mr. Chaffetz? Mr. Chaffetz votes no. Mr. Wahlberg? Mr. Wahlberg votes no. Mr. Langford? Mr. Langford votes no. Mr. Amash? Mr. Amash votes no. Mr. Uh, Dr. Gosar? Dr. Gosar votes no. Mr. Meehan? No. Mr. Meehan votes no. Dr. Desjardins? No. Dr. Desjardins votes no. Mr. Gowdy? Mr. Gowdy votes no. Mr. Farenthold? Mr. Farenthold votes no. Mr. Hastings? Mr. Hastings votes no. Mrs. Lummis? Mrs. Lummis votes no. Mr. Woodall? Mr. Woodall votes no. Mr. Massey? Mr. Massey votes no. Mr. Collins? Mr. Collins votes no. Mr. Meadows? Mr. Meadows votes no. Mr. Bentivoglio? Mr. Bentivoglio votes no. Mr. DeSantis? Mr. DeSantis votes no. Mr. Cummings? Mr. Cummings votes aye. Mrs. Maloney? Mrs. Maloney votes aye. Ms. Norton? Ms. Norton votes aye. Mr. Tierney? Yes. Mr. Tierney votes aye. Mr. Clay? Aye. Mr. Clay votes aye. Mr. Lynch? Aye. Mr. Lynch votes aye. Mr. Cooper? Aye. Mr. Cooper votes aye. Mr. Connolly? Aye. Mr. Connolly votes aye. Ms. Spear? Aye. Ms. Spear votes aye. Mr. Cartwright? Aye. Mr. Cartwright votes aye. Mr. Pocan? Aye. Mr. Pocan votes aye. Mrs. Duckworth? Aye. Mrs. Duckworth votes aye. Ms. Kelly? Aye. Ms. Kelly votes aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. Mr. Davis votes aye. Mr. Welch? Mr. Welch votes aye. Mr. Cardenas? Mr. Cardenas votes aye. Mr. Horsford? Ms. Luan Grisham? Ms. Luan Grisham votes aye. Does anyone wish to change their vote? The, cl the clerk will call the tally. On that vote, Report Mr. Chairman, tally. 17 ayes, 22 noes. The amendment is not agreed to. I now move the Committee on Oversight and Government Reform report the bill, H.R. 899 to the House with the recommendation the bill do pass as amended. The question is on favorably reporting H.R. 899 to the House as amended. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. No. 
In the opinion of the Chair, the ayes have it, and a roll call is recorded. The Clerk will call the roll. Mr. Issa. Aye. Mr. Issa votes aye. Mr. Micah. Mr. Micah votes aye. Mr. Turner. Mr. Turner votes aye. Mr. Duncan. Mr. McHenry. Mr. McHenry votes aye. Mr. Jordan. Mr. Jordan votes aye. Mr. Chaffetz. Mr. Chaffetz votes aye. Mr. Wahlberg. Mr. Wahlberg votes aye. Mr. Langford. Mr. Langford votes aye. Mr. Amash. Mr. Amash votes aye. Dr. Gosar. Dr. Gosar votes aye. Mr. Meehan. Mr. Meehan votes aye. Dr. Dejale. Dr. Dejale votes aye. Mr. Gowdy. Mr. Gowdy votes aye. Mr. Farenthold. Mr. Farenthold votes aye. Mr. Hastings. Mr. Hastings votes aye. Mrs. Lummis. Mrs. Lummis votes aye. Mr. Woodall. Mr. Woodall votes aye. Mr. Massey. Mr. Massey votes aye. Mr. Collins. Mr. Collins votes aye. Mr. Meadows. Mr. Meadows votes aye. Mr. Bentivoglio. Mr. Bentivoglio votes aye. Mr. DeSantis. Mr. DeSantis votes aye. Mr. Cummings. Mr. Cummings votes no. Mrs. Maloney. Mrs. Maloney votes no. Ms. Norton. Ms. Norton votes no. Mr. Tierney. No. Mr. Tierney votes no. Mr. Clay. No. Mr. Clay votes no. Mr. Lynch. No. Mr. Lynch votes no. Mr. Cooper. No. Mr. Cooper votes no. Mr. Connolly. No. Mr. Connolly votes no. Ms. Spear. Ms. Spear votes no. Mr. Cartwright. Mr. Cartwright votes no. Mr. Pocan. Mr. Pocan votes no. Mrs. Duckworth. Mrs. Duckworth votes no. Ms. Kelly. Ms. Kelly votes no. Mr. Davis. Mr. Davis votes no. Mr. Welch. Mr. Welch votes no. Mr. Cardenas. Mr. Cardenas votes no. Mr. Horsford. Ms. Luan Grisham. Ms. Luan Grisham votes no. She could tell she had been crying, okay? Yeah. It's terrible. The clerk will report. On that vote, Mr. Chairman, 22 ayes, 17 noes. The amendment is. I mean, the motion is agreed to. H.R. 899, the Unfunded Mandates Information and Transparency Act of 2013, is ordered reported to the House. And with that, we have. Chairman, I just asked for records of the number of days. The, you know, is that it? the uh, gentleman's. Uh, Without objection, so ordered. I ask unanimous consent the staff on all the bills today be authorized to make necessary and conforming technical changes to the bill. Without objection, so ordered. I want to thank you all for a long and productive day. We stand adjourned. Yeah, yeah, for the day, right?